Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the new snapshot, which is the 20W14A. And in today's snapshot, we have a new mob, and it is called the Zoglin. So the Zoglin is actually the equivalent of the Hogling, and the Hogling now has the same mechanic as the Pigling. Because the pigling, when they are in the overworld, they will turn into the zombie fight. Because when the piglings are in the overworld, <sighs> because when the piglings, when they are in the overworld, they will turn into a zombie fight pigling, which is. Yeah, it's the same for the Hoglings now, except they have a unique name. Yeah, it's kind of weird because the Hoglings have a s unique name to its uh, zombie fight counterparts, but the Piglings don't. They just call the Pigling and the zombie fight Pigling, which is kind of weird. Maybe they can implement a unique name to the zombie fight pigling. So let's look at the hoglins first. So you can breed them by feeding them crimson fungus and they will breed. There you go. And also, they are afraid of the warp fungus. They will start running away like that. But First blood. the kill. Zoglings won't Triple do any kill. of that. So they don't even care about the warp fungus. And they won't even eat the crimson fungus. So there's not really anything you can do with them and they also attack almost anything uh, as you can see just now they attack the hogling like that and they are much more dangerous so yeah that is the zoglings and now let's look at the next thing which is the compass can now be enchanted with the curse of vanishing and in this snapshot they also changed the background of the title screen and now it is the nether picture if you know there's a statistics button right here for you to look at your statistics in your world and now they are alphabetically <laughs> and now they are alphabetically sorted now so a b c d and so on so let's talk about the changes for the striders and you might ask why I'm in a flat world f full of lava. Uh, the answer is so it won't frame skip as much when I'm in the nether. Showing it to you guys right here will be much more smoother. So yeah, the speed of the strider moving on the lava. The speed of the strider moving on the lava has now increased to closely resemble a boat speed but it doesn't look like it maybe like this it is faster but yeah well I guess I guess they changed the speed because it was too slow for it even to be worth it to find the strider maybe now it is much more useful and much more people will use it and here it says warped fungus on a stake now has 
100 max item damage and only takes 1 damage per strider consume. So I believe it means like any items it has a durability and now the warp fungus also has one and it is a hundred and whenever you ride a strider it will take away one damage I mean one durability so maybe that's what it means so let's try it in survival but it doesn't oh there it is so oh does it mean like when you boost your speed it will take away one durability wait oh okay so I get it now so now since you can boost when you are riding a strider so boosting means like you will travel travel faster so to boost you just right click and whenever you boost means you feed a little bit of the warp fungus to the strider and it will take away one durability now the compass has three new data fields which are the lodestone dimension the lodestone track and the lodestone pose so you can get the data of these three things and there are a few more technical changes and bug fixes so if you want to take a look again the link will be in the description so yeah that is gonna be it for today's video if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and also subscribe so you'll never miss any future contents so yeah my name is Froxty and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.